Hello, this is the second in a series of five videos I shot over the growing season in 2015. It's a small bucket carrot reveal. The carrots in this video are Trevor. Enjoy the video. Hello. Earlier this year I made myself some compost for carrots. The video on the channel shows you how I've done that. I sowed those carrots in these 10 inch pots uh, and I used a grid pattern to do that so I would sow them thinly so I didn't need to do any thinning out. Uh, and the carrot I sowed in this pot is a carrot called Trevor which is just as well because if the name had been any longer than that I'd never have got it on that slate would I? Try to get Chantini Redcore on there <laughs> or Autumn King 2 or any other carrot for that matter. So this is Trevor. Uh, I lifted some Trevor a week or two ago and I was absolutely astounded by what I got. But let's hope this pot does just as well. Okay, now with a bit of luck I'll get these guys out in a wanna. Excuse me Molly, you'll get yours eventually. Whoa look at that. Right. Now we'll do what we did last time, because it worked. We'll bump this soil off. Okay. I hope it doesn't stick, because it has been quite wet, but there is a fair amount of sand in this compost, so it's quite open. There is some koi in there. Um, are those carrots emerging? I look as though they're coming into view now. Molly's getting a bit excited. Oh, come on. Another result from Trevor. What do you reckon? Another result from Trevor. How's that Molly? All those sweet art from a 10 inch pot. Come on, stood on a patio. No greenhouse for these guys, no polytunnel for these guys. They had to take everything the British weather could throw at them. And it's through some pile of rain and a lot of wind lately as you know. Especially if you're gardening in the north of England. So we'll give these guys a wash off. Um, and then we'll have a better look. Okay, so you've seen the dancing carrots. Now we're going to do the dunking carrots. Excuse me, Mol. Honest, the quality here is unbelievable. No carrot fly here, no marks on these guys. All straight as a die. No forking, no splitting. That's because we made our own compost and we took some time about it. And the reason I've got to this size in a 10 inch pot is because I sowed them thinly. There's videos on the channel, just, just have a look at them. Okay, that's Trevor. All of those from a 10 inch pot. <laughs> All of those from a 10 inch pot, absolutely unbelievable. Should we do a quick count? Man, it will be quick. Okay, one with that accurate. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20. 20 good sized carrots there, look. There's a comparison, there's my hand, that's how big they are. They're not sure carrots, these carrots are for eating. Uh, and what, hey, I'll give you one in a minute. And um, one tip I would give you about carrots. If you want to remember how carrots used to taste when you were a lot younger, get a fresh carrot like this. Take a piece, eat it raw, chew it, but don't swallow. Swallow the juices. Chew it some more and swallow the juices. Do that two or three times. Then you'll remember what carrots tasted like. And then you've got my permission to swallow. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting daft there. Right, this is homegrown veg and molly. Well, let's see if we can find you one before we sign off. Hey, you're in look, oh. How's that one look, Molly? That one look okay. I'm gonna give Molly this carrot, because she's a good... Hey, hold on. Hold on. Come on, Molly, you'll have to... Oh, what should you do then? You got it? <laughs> have you got it? Well, there's your answer. Okay. So this is homegrown veg and Trevor and Molly, signing off. 
The buckets I use are X cut flower water buckets, 10 inches tall, 10 inches diameter and hold about 10 litres. They are roughly half the size of a 5 gallon bucket and about the same size as a small domestic water bucket. The soil in the buckets is a garden soil that I have organically enriched in the colder months of the year. I remove all the lumps before sowing using a garden riddle.